In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a Valencia effect in Photoshop. Hi guys and welcome back to a new free Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me on Facebook at Retard Pro. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a super simple Valencia effect in Photoshop. Also again, a color effect if you ask me. Um, the last tutorial had so many up likes, so I thought why not create another tutorial teaching you guys how to do this color effect again. So if you like this one, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Yeah, and then also I just want to say a big thank you to Yvonne Faith Photography for sponsoring this awesome image. She's a pretty awesome photographer. Have a look at her links. It's all in the description down below from website and social media stuff. Yeah, so let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm already in Photoshop. First step that I want to do is just show you guys quickly. Here's the before and after, again, before and after. So super simple process, how to do this Valencia effect. Now, before I would normally start this, I would record the whole thing as an action. If you guys are not familiar with recording actions, please have a look on the channel. We've created another tutorial teaching you guys how to work and record Photoshop actions. Now, as well, one more thing, if you guys don't want to record your own actions have a look on retailpro.com in our action library we've already created again a few more actions there for you guys ready to purchase the stuff and use it for your own work as well so something like this in a way okay let's start right away with the Valencia effect I'm going to move the layer all the way down the group here to switch back to the image layer and start right away so first step again back to adjustments and we're going to go and create a gradient map adjustment layer over here so select the gradient map also here in the library. We're going to double click on this and get back into the gradient editor over here. Now in the presets that you get standard from Photoshop, I want to select the orange, yellow and orange gradient. Hit OK once you're done. And for the next step now, I still want to change the blending options. So very simple, go down to the blending options, switch it all the way to multiply. And as well, we're still going to take the opacity all the way down. So something around 20%, somewhere at 25, 20%, I think I'm going to go with 20 today. Okay, so as you guys can see, a little bit of a yellowish cast there already. Now, for the next step again, I'm going to go and create another curves adjustment layer. So let's go back to adjustment, curves adjustment layer over here, and we just want to take the dark pixels now and brighten them completely. So what I'm going to do is go down here to the dark sliders and just take them up all the way so the output goes up all the way to around 90 to 95 percent. I'm going to choose something around 93 percent. Great, and I'm going to keep it there. So as you guys can see here, 93 percent output. Okay, so pretty happy. It's a little bit brighter now, but good for the start. Okay, next step that I want to do is go back to the adjustment layers down here and select a gradient map as well, like just a gradient fill actually and move this a little bit to the side and first of all double click again onto the gradients we're going to get back into the gradient editor and I'm going to select from the presets again a violet and orange one for the first step here I'm not going to play with any of the color sliders I'm just going to hit OK hit OK as well and we directly already have our new gradient fill but now obviously it's just color we still want to change the blending options so we're going to go back to the normal blending options and switch this all the way to screen there we go, it looks really very really funky. Next step that I want to do is just take the opacity all the way down, maybe just to like a 50%. Feel free to also play a little bit with this. Maybe it looks a bit different on your image, but play a little bit with this. Now as well, double click again onto the gradient fill. And first of all, I want to play a little bit with my angle over here. So I'm going to go all the way to around 140%, 142. Let's have a look. Yep, and that looks kind of good to me. Next step, again, double click onto the gradient and I've selected again a new gradient. Nope, let's select the one that we had before. Great, so what I want to do now is just take the violet sliders here and move them up a little bit. So somewhere around 75%, let's have a look. Okay, we can go back a little bit and I want to have just a bit of orange here filling up with a lot of violet and just a little bit of orange here at the top. So you guys feel free to also play with this. Also feel free to play with a different preset or create your own little custom uh, gradient down here with a few more colors as you guys can see. I'm going to delete mine again. So just keeping these normal two standard ones. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. Maybe play a little bit more with my angle here. A little bit down, 135, somewhere around that. 
hit OK, that's done already and the image looks great so far. A little bit flat for me so I actually want to have a bit more contrast on this. So for the last step again back to adjustments over here and we're just going to select a selective curve adjustment layer. Selective color actually, so select that. First step, yours will most probably be on relative so set it to absolute and as well in the neutral tones here switch to the neutral tones, so the color tones and you're going to go to the black sliders and just take the black sliders up between 10 to 20 percent. So I'm going to go maybe 19, 18, plus 19 looked actually good. So I'm going to go with plus 19. And again as you guys can have a look here before and after, before and after. So just a bit more contrast. If you guys actually want to have more contrast feel free to push this a little bit further. I wouldn't recommend it, it looks a bit too dark. But though this is again the step here, just again plus 18 to 19. Okay, now for the last and final step again, I'm just going to select all my layers, hold shift and select all the layers, command G, put it together in a group. I'm working with a Mac, so that's why I said command. If you're on a Windows PC, please use control when I say command. Now just double click and rename this to effect and there you go. If you still want to, you can also tweak the opacity over this whole group. So you can see it looks a little bit dimmer there around 90%. I'm actually happy with 100% and I'm going to keep it just again to that percent. Don't forget afterwards you can always open it and again play with your gradient fill over here and still tweak the color or choose a different angle. Yeah so that's basically all for the Valencia effect in Photoshop guys. Now if you want to see some more on this channel what happened actually before this episode click right here. If you want to see something new or something random click right on this side and then as well don't forget to hit the subscribe right on top of me. Also at the bottom you can find our retailpro.com link to our website for more actions, pro tutorials and textures, way more stuff there. Then as well, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this little bar that we've added at the bottom. Is it distracting or is it actually cool? Let me know so we can use it in future tutorials. Then as well, don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like this tutorial, share it with all your buddies and I say again, again, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next tutorial. Bye bye.